I feel like two years is very short, but like hopefully in five years, I'm at a place where I have the skills and the knowledge that I need to be independent and capable. So, yeah. My name is Eileen. I am a second year at Pomona College studying neuroscience. Um, I'm originally from Seoul, South Korea, and I moved to California in 2006, where I stayed with my aunt's family in San Diego for about a summer. And then I moved to Fullerton, stayed there for a few years, and then now I live in Yorba Linda, California. I guess like my association with childhood would be originally from Korea because I have these like memories of me and my brother playing with Legos or you know just like um, there was a playground right in front of our apartment and we would just go there all the time to just kind of like hang out and um, watching Spongebob in Korean, <laughs> um, watching Teletubby which was also in Korean, like all these animations and when we came to the United States I feel like we didn't really get that childhood because my parents were so focused on like financially supporting our family. So they would go out because they had a restaurant. So they would open the restaurant at like eight in the morning and they would come back at like 10 p.m. And back then it was just like me and my brother kind of relying on each other to do everything by ourselves. So I think back then we didn't really realize that like this childhood was even a thing, I guess like when my peers went to like Disneyland or like just hung out and went to the zoo like on the weekends like for us it was like going out to the restaurant and like <laughs> sitting at the corner and like working on our textbook and things like that so just like a very very different childhood from like the conventional I guess like American childhood. My parents also did not speak English and I think that was also very difficult because I think they felt like they couldn't really serve their roles as parents because parents are supposed to take care of their children but then I think as me and my brother grew older and we learned English and we learned about the culture more we were the ones doing work to like take care of them like translating for them um, like helping them out at like a very young age and I think at times I had a lot of resentment because when I would get like school flyers or school I guess like invoices um, and I would give it to my parents and I wish like like at a young age my wish was that they would just like read it and just like sign it and be like okay you can take it back to school but that was just like not the case for me like I had to sit down with them when I was like 10 years old and like translate every word and be like and this is why you need to sign this document for me you know like even though it's like a very sim simple like field trip form and just like things like that made me really frustrated because I was like why can't you be like other parents and you know just like understand these like very simple sentences but they just like couldn't um so i think growing up i ha it was a, it was really frustrating it was a lot of um i guess patience on my end but also that definitely went for like my parents as well because like they were also very frustrated they were also very upset but they were like doing the best they could to like support me and my brother um like for our sake definitely and I feel like if it weren't for those experiences, I wouldn't be who I am like right now. Just like my character, my values, the things like I've experienced over the year, over the years. Like, I feel like I would be a very, very different person if I were back in Korea, because I would prioritize different things. This is really hard. I think mainly because we're very communicative, we're very vocal to each other, so I feel like if I have something to say, I say it to them right up front. Um, but, 항상 감사하고, 항상 나랑 내 오빠를 믿어줘서 너무 감사하다고 생각하고, 항상 곁에 있지는 않지만 언제나 생각하고 있다고. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs>